I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Tyree speaks on Instagram Live for the first time since being released from jail. You turned a $3,600 child support payment that I decided to give my daughter on my own as a father. And you said, how much are you paying your child in California? $10,690 a month, which I've never missed one payment in eight and a half years. So we're clear. Oh, you've been on your own giving your child $3,600 a month? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go back two years and turn that $3,600 into $10,690. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Judge Farmer, where did that number come from? The number came from California. Your Honor, what does what does California and a, and a child support number that I'm giving my child in California have anything to do with Georgia? I'm not trying to hear that shit, sir. You and your lawyer get your black ass out of my courtroom talking to me about my rulings. I'm the judge. I'm the law. Table. Bloop, bloop. Shut up and take that. $3,600 for two years straight. He goes backwards two years and he says your $3,600 has to now become $10,690 a month from this point on. And we're going to flip your $3,600 into $11,000 from two years ago. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who you are, whether you're a woman or a man, but does that sound right to you? I don't think so. Wait, wait. So you're doing a child support payment and you've been waiting almost two years to do a divorce trial and you're giving your child $3,600 a month in Georgia where the cost of living is not in the top 35 in the country? And her mother is a social worker that makes about $175,000 on her own. The actual needs of the child are beyond met. So why are you going to go back two years and turn my $3,600 into $10,690? I'm very confused. But I can't turn a blind eye on injustice. So everything is being appealed. Everything about his rulings, his conduct, everything that he said, everything he didn't say, everything that he shut down as far as our just due process in the courtroom, it's all being appealed. And I've already leaked the documents. They're already out there. All you got to do is look them up. Shout out to the L.A. Times who actually attached the all of the 20 pages of the appeals is attached to the L.A. Times article. Thank you for real journalism. Nothing changes without real journalism. And I want to tell you all again, I do not have a problem with that man. I actually empathize with him because I'm a man who believes in God. I am not responsible for. I am not responsible for a judge who obviously has a this not I am he has a this against me and it was very obvious from the moment he stepped in that courtroom because he said I already know what I'm going to do here y'all can waste the next two or three days if you want there's records of him stating these words when he came to the bench I don't lie and I don't make things up you already know what you're going to do with my case before we even present our case oh okay gotcha I don't think he's going to do that. After three days, he did that. Y'all just wasted y'all time and all y'all money. I've already told y'all that I, I know what I'm going to rule on and I know what it's going to be. So I don't even want to be here. I got other things to do. I don't want anything to work in my favor. I just want my just due process. I don't even know if us appealing this case is going to ultimately be appealed. I just want my just due process. I don't want anything to work in my favor because I'm famous. I'm a celebrity. I got money. I live a particular life and lifestyle. I do not have a problem with that man. 
I don't know why he's became the way he's became. He's a husband. He's a father, just like I am. And he's a man. So it's really, it really hurts when someone who actually goes home to their family is in a courtroom using their power as a judge to break up families and cause traumas and strife and pains the way these judges are causing pain, especially if you're a husband and you're a father. I have better expectations of you because you want to go home to your kids and your family, right? At what point did you lose sight with what I want to go home to? And what I want to experience as far as my interaction as often as I can without getting financially taken advantage of because I am a high net worth individual. Who needs $400,000 a month in child support? What child? exists that needs that much money things have to change guys and I believe that God is using me to affect that change because most men and most fathers would not ever ever want to sign up for this you may think this is about me but it's not the outcome is going to be the outcome I've been dealing with the family law court system for 18 years and I'm still speaking up and I'm speaking out about the things that's happening, knowing that sometime you go to court and the judge understands and he actually or she or allows you just due process. Other times you don't. A judge can wake up one day and say, I'm in a bad mood and you're going to get your ass served on a plate. It's the way it goes. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It's the way it goes. But I want y'all to know something. Again, in closing. 1992, Beautiful Pain, double album. Produced by Brandon Bam Hodge and legendary genius David Foster. Is available on all streaming platforms. And I would love your support. It would mean the world to me if you were to listen to an album that I gave birth to because of my divorce and because of me finding love again and my girlfriend of almost four years, Zelly Timothy. I want you guys to listen to the beauty that I discovered in my pain. It's right here. And if you go to Tyrese.tv, if you go to Tyrese.tv, my website, you can pre-order the Beautiful Pain album. It's now live, and the vinyls are being printed up right now. There's a small delay, but they're on their way. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.